हॅलो हॅलो आय एम रेड गोम वेन वॉज युअर फर्स्ट मीट विथ द श्री विजय भास्कर अँड वॉट वॉज द एक्सपिरियन्स यू कॅन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिअर दॅट इज बेटर आय बिलीव इन फॅक्ट आय एम सो ग्रेटफुल टू विजय भास्कर जी फॉर हॅविंग गिव्हन मी सो मेनी वंडरफुल कन्नडा नंबर्स अँड अँड आय कुड सी आय कुड सिंग लॉट्स ऑफ लवली नंबर्स इन दिस म्युझिक डिरेक्शन अँड वी ऑल युज टू कॉल इम जेंटलमॅन कंपोसर इट वॉज सच अ सॉफ्ट स्पोकन व्हेरी गुड नेचर्ड पर्सन Hmm. we have never seen him losing his temper we have never seen him shouting at anyone and uh, the work used to go so smoothly hmm. uh, during his recordings he was a wonderful person to work with and it was my good fortune that i got to sing so many lovely numbers in his music direction hmm. and uh, right from this kesari na kamla nagu nagu ni nagu devara nudi da modala nudi bandi de badukina happiest moment every event rangena halliyage bhavaya bhavaya bhava vemba i can go on and so many lovely numbers he gave me and um, uh, it was such a pleasure working uh, with him and uh, never used to throw his weight on anyone and never had any airs and uh, never had any complex either and mm-hmm. even his assistants used to feel so happy to work with him mm-hmm. and the arrangers and the assistants mm-hmm. and uh, it was a wonderful wonderful experience mm-hmm. and i know his family also i have been to his place yeah. i know his five children they are all wonderful mm-hmm. and uh, it is uh, sad that we lost him so early and uh, um uh, great person great person uh how was mr sri vijay baskar was he really talented by birth in this music field how do you feel did he acquire or by no, hard work without without a talent and how could he compose so many yeah. lovely numbers undoubtedly he was talented mm. and uh, yeah but he never showed off mm mm he never showed off and he was extremely talented and uh, even his uh, teaching the songs used to be so nice mm-hmm. and soft you know and uh, mm-hmm. um, initially when he used to teach we never knew the beauty of the number once mm-hmm. uh, it's recorded mm-hmm. then we all will come to know that how beautiful the composition is uh, mm-hmm. taking shape you know mm-hmm. and uh, Oh, he's a wonderful, very talented, wonderful composer. Mm-hmm. And uh, he made you uh, uh, to go to some extra levels, high-pitched songs. So those are songs that came uh, very melodious and very soft. But in the meantime, it used to go to a very uh, high pitch. Uh, how did it end? Uh, I think you were... Uh, voice reverberated in the entire studio so those days uh, we used to listen to uh, gramophone songs or akashvani yeah. radio songs yeah. Yeah. so that yeah. was some high quality audio songs and uh, we used to have some uh, extra pleasure while listening so mm. how did that happen how did he uh, elevate those songs he composed all varieties for example mm. he could compose a dari kana dagide also mm. in uh, semi classical at the same time happiest moment every event in bili yeah. henti yes a western number he yeah. could compose so well so uh, that shows his versatility at the same time in that happiest moment in exploited my mm. uh, range fully yes <laughs> so uh, 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 say yeah uh, he knew the capacity yes. and uh, so he sort of composed accordingly yeah and yeah he was particularly very fond of my talent and uh, and he used to call me for so many recordings yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so we talked about his uh, nature yeah. and uh, how did he uh, the instrument uh, uh, the people who worked on uh, the various instrument how he used to yeah, he used to distribute and, you know he used uh, to do, he used to compose the background he used to distribute and he had very efficient uh, assistants 
those days were like sp vegetation uh-huh. govardhan and master and all that uh-huh. and they all used to help him in an ar- arranging and uh, so the and recording was very smooth and uh, there was no tension at all during his recordings uh-huh. yeah. yeah so when and where uh, did you all meet uh, in uh, i think the recording used to happen somewhere in uh, chennai and uh, how are the yeah, those days all four languages they used to take place in only in chennai later on uh, malayalam went to kerala and kannada went to mm. bangalore and mm. telugu went to hyderabad and tamil mm. songs were recorded mm. here and when i started all four languages were recorded in madras only later mm-hmm. chennai mm-hmm. yeah so we only used to work out so, so many kannada numbers with dr rajkumar ji mm. I have uh, they all used to be recorded in Chennai only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we we only used to go to the studio mm-hmm. and he will teach us and we will learn it immediately he will sing. Yeah. So there were them I and there weren't any special rehearsal sessions and things like that. Mhm. Mhm. So uh, that is what and a playback singer has to be mm-hmm. quick enough to quick enough to grasp mm-hmm. you know the tune mm-hmm. as fast as possible. Yeah. Say that, sir. I mean, everyone knows about it. <laughs> yeah. And I particularly, having worked with him so closely and the first so many songs. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.